two, one, lines out. Here's the red crab. Tell me something good, Bush. How, how long we got till we know if I won or not? I just want to say a huge thanks to everybody who came out today. This is a great crowd, and uh, congrats, Brian. How are you doing? You have fun today? You know, it really isn't that painful. Uh, you know, had it gone differently and I'd lost a big fish today that I thought could have done it, uh, might have been painful. But, you know, I, I, I think I fished pretty smart, pretty clean this week. I was proud of how I competed. I'm really not bitter. I like, I, we straight up got beat. All of us did by thrift. He, uh, I didn't lose it, he won it, you know. He, we, he caught him really good. Weight started at zero. You know, we were runner-up at this event last year, so we get another chance at redemption today. You know, I, I'm not on the fish to win, I don't think, but the way these fish are acting right now, swimming around, chasing bait, all it takes is for the right pot of bait to swim my direction, and uh, we can make this thing happen. So it's changing every day. The current's the least it's run all week. Like, it's, it's gonna be almost non-existent down where I am. So everything's changing. I just hope it changes in my favor. There's a scoreable. Six pounds, Two five pounds, ounces? Nine ounces. That's what he said. Six yeah. pounds, five ounces. <laughs> uh, maybe. He's long, but he's skinny. Two pounds, zero ounces. Hot dog. <laughs> I like you, Dino. I like the way you weigh. It's always so nerve wracking watching that scale and you're like, please, when it's lock on two even. Really didn't like that zone I just went through. I mean, it was great to catch two scoreables out of it for what I was seeing, but I wasn't really digging it all that much. Got him. And he's not that big, but he'll score. So just boat flip that one. We got him. Persistence pays off, baby. Three pounds, two ounces. All right, there's a three pounder. We need about 20 more of those today. The key is when they get under the boat, don't hit your trolling motor. Let them swim away before you start chasing them. So stupid. How is it not locking that up? Dang it. Gosh. Catfish. All that for that. He looked big. That little thing looked big. That's a good one. Well, he might score. Yeah, he score. He's got sores all over him. Two pounds, eight ounces. Man, they're so hard to see. Two big ones right there. Where the heck did these fish go? Gosh, dog it. Big one. And he'll score, I think. He's not that big. Yeah, he'll score. Two pounds, five ounces. All right. Yeah. A little lull, but hopefully it lulls over when we can get in some fish here. Catfish. I knew it. I shouldn't have even. He's just so slow. Almost reeled it away from like 20 of these because I know the one I reel it away from is going to be just a lethargic five pound spot. Catfish? Nope. Spot. See, I didn't reel it away from that one. <laughs> I almost didn't let that fish get that. <laughs> that fish was slow as a turtle coming to get this thing. Two week. pounds, eight ounces. Yeah, well, two and a half pound not catfish. Um, I've been pretty, pretty pleased with the size. Not very pleased with how many I'm seeing. That's a bass. Dang good one too. There we go. It wasn't a catfish. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop saying what I think it is. 
three pounds, three ounces. That's the right three. Now look at this here. Hang on. Wanna see why they're hard to catch? Look at what they're feeding on right there. A little bitty old shad. That's why a lot of these fish are hard to catch. And uh, I mean, I'm throwing about as small as bait of a bait as I can effectively throw efficiently. And they're still even the bait they're feeding on smaller. I'm just I thought he was like a three pounder, so I played him some more. Two pounds, six ounces. A pair of high flyers acting like they're chasing bait, even though there's no bait around. When I see that, I can get on the bite. Little. Another 20 pounds. Another 20 pounds and we'll be in contention. Probably won't be in the lead, but we'll be in contention. I think he's small. He's gonna be real close. Two pounds, zero ounces. Oh, let's go, man. <laughs> that was so close. There we go, that's a good one, I think. Two pounds, seven ounces. All right. Making those perfect casts are going to be really, really important. Oh, I feel that little. Ain't nothing I can do there, dude. Remember I talked about how I made a lot of the right casts earlier? It's been the opposite this period. Dang, hoss. No bad. He's ready. He's getting it, son. Did he shake his head at me? Yeah, he was like unhappy that I was right here, I guess. Giving away his top secret fishing spot. Little bitty old things. So, one pound 13 ounces non score. Got him. That's a striper. First one of those I've caught this week. I was like, man, this spot's going crazy. Yeah, score. That's a dang good one. Two pounds 12 ounces. That's a good one. I'm throwing at a decent number of good sized fish. It's just like getting them to bite is uh like pulling teeth the other one oh giant one that's over four this is like maybe a five it's freaking huge probably shouldn't have sat down quite yet oh, there's a four pounder let's go baby Four pounds, five ounces. That's a Coosa River spot right there. That's uh, that's what Dustin is catching way up the river. He's catching a bunch of them, but for me, that's a kicker. That was fun. That was a chungus. Um, went third place and a really good legit shot a second. First is now a Hail Mary long shot. You know, you never know what can happen. You get in the ride of Larry and there's three pounders swimming around everywhere and you catch them on bait, it can happen really fast. You could have a 50 pound period, but um, in all reality, I mean, we're fishing for a second at this point and, and that's okay, but it's, it's been a good week and um, I'm having fun doing what I'm doing. Honestly, like today's been super chill, super relaxed and I'm gonna enjoy my puck sub. Two pounds, 14 ounces. All right, it's almost a three pounder. Every one of those is a little closer to second place. I don't know that one. That would have been close. That's a big one. Four pounds, three ounces. All right. Warren, congratulations. Dustin found out you are 2024 Great Crest Champion.
displayed of your skill set here on Lily. <laughs> you know, it was an awesome week this week. Uh, you know, going out today, I didn't really know what to expect. I knew I knew they were going to catch them today, and uh, I just I just knew that I was going to commit to forward facing sonar and, and try to put my bait in front of as many fish as possible. And, and all in all, it was a, it was a phenomenal day. You know, uh, you know, I look at what Dustin caught. Finishing seconds never never fun, but it's an easy pill to swallow when he beats you by 30 pounds. So uh, um, it, it was it, all in all, it was an amazing week. Absolutely. Let's hear it. Brown Jones Jr. We just won the Red Crest. Let's freaking go. One thing that separates fishing, like, uh, from from other sports is is there's not just wins and losses i mean you've, we've got other other places and, and prize money um that we're fishing for you know like like second play pays really well and um i was just as hungry fighting to try to stay in second as i would have been if i was trying to stay in first i mean I, don't get me wrong i would have loved to have been in first but um there's it's just it's a little more complex than just winning and losing so i mean i i just i wasn't around the fish and and didn't practice well enough to win this tournament and i mean uh, it's a great finish, and um, eventually, hopefully, I'll, I'll get mine. You know, I don't, I don't have any regrets on this week, though. Hey, what's that? We got to finish Red Crest with one of those. Yep, yep. Good week. I didn't really see this one coming. Like, I feel like at, uh, at Norman, like, I just kind of had a vibe, like, things were just going good the whole week. Um, this week, we ended high on a high note, and um, congrats to Dustin, man. Like, to do it on your home lake, in front of a home crowd. It's something special. Like it, it was super cool to stand out there, to watch him hoist that trophy, to see all of his family and friends there to go crazy. Um, I'm happy for him. And if you're gonna get beat by 30 pounds, might as well be to one of the hottest anglers in the world. I mean, there's about, when you go to like the uber hot anglers, like the cream of the crop right now, there's about five dudes on that list and he's dang near the top of it, if not at the top of it. Make sure you click up here. There's gonna be other videos from Redcrest and stay tuned. We're going to a new body of water for the next trimmed up series, Dale Hollow, stage three of the Bass Pro Tour. Hope to see you out there.